Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, I'll show you how to make eyes glow in different colors using LumaFusion. For this tutorial, you will need a video showing a close-up of eyes initially shut, then opening and finally closing again. The eyes movement will be tracked using keyframes, so less head movements will make the eyes easier to track. On the other hand, having some movement will make the results more impressive. And don't worry, I'll spare you witnessing the process of setting keyframes if it's not necessary. The method that will be discussed in this tutorial uses the overlay blend mode. This blend mode will allow you to change the color of the eyes while keeping the reflections and patterns in the iris and pupil. If you want to learn more about how the overlay blend mode works, check the tutorial I made about it. The link, if I didn't forget to add it, should be in the screen now. For this tutorial, you'll be creating this example. We start in LumaFusion with a video of the eyes close-up already placed in the timeline. You will need two additional copies of the video, one for each eye. Clone the video. Place the cloned copy just above the original. This video will be used for the left eye. Start scrolling from the beginning of the cloned video and find the frame just before the eyes start opening. Make a cut. Continue scrolling until you find the frame just after the eyes are fully shut again. Make a second cut there. Delete the clips left and right of the clip containing the sequence of the eyes opening and closing again. Edit the clip containing the sequence. Go to the Colors and Effects tab. Select the Palette section and the original preset. Now, change the original preset as follows. Increase brightness to 0, 0.033. Decrease contrast all the way down to 0, 0.60. Set shadow amount as minus 1. Now, set the colors. Set red as 0, 0.050. Green as 115. And blue as 0, 0.50. Next, tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Select the Blending section and set Overlay as the Blend Mode. Exit back to the timeline. At this point, before any keyframes are added, the settings used for the left and right eyes are the same. So clone the clip you just finished editing. And move it to the side in the main track. This clip will be used later for the right eye. Edit the clip being used for the left eye again. Go to the Frame and Fit tab. Select the Cropping section. Now it's keyframes time. Navigate to the beginning of the clip. Start scrolling and find the first frame where the left eye is fully open. Crop the video so it creates a square around the iris of the left eye. The square should be a bit smaller than the iris. The pupil should be in the center of the square and you can use it as a reference. Set the corner radius to 100. This will create a circle. Set the edge softness to 14.2. This will ease the transition between the color part of the iris and its edges. You can preview the results by tapping on the Frame and Fit tab and tapping on the same tab again when done. Adjust size and position of the cropping area if necessary. Add a keyframe. Now continue scrolling and find the last frame where the left eye is fully open. Most probably, due to head movements, the cropping won't be perfectly aligned with the iris. 
realign the cropping so it again creates a square around the iris with the pupil in the center. A keyframe will be automatically created. Scroll between the two keyframes created, correcting the alignment where the cropping is at peak misalignment. As before, keyframes will be automatically created. Then, continue realigning the cropping as needed. This is how the video looks after placing all the keyframes needed. Now, let's take a look at the animation for opening the eye. Go to the beginning of the clip. The eye should be fully closed. The idea is to match the cropped area to the visible part of the iris as the eye opens. Increase the value of the top cropping setting until the top and bottom of the cropping area touch at the bottom of the eye. A keyframe will be added automatically. Check the results and add additional keyframes to adjust the cropping area if required. Next, do the same but in reverse for the part of the video where the left eye closes. Now that you're done with the left eye, this is how it will look. Exit back to the timeline. Drag the video you set aside for the right eye to the track just above the one where the video of the left eye is. Do the exact same process again, this time for the right eye. This is how the final result will look like after the work for the right eye is done. Here are some tips. You can create different effects by adjusting settings in the original preset. Try new colors by modifying the red, green and blue settings. Experiment adjusting the brightness, contrast and tint. Check applying other blend modes. The saturation blend mode, for example, can yield some interesting results. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.